right, hey, Shalom, Makiam. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak with Dash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside him. I want to give salutations or double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit, and salutations to the elect whom the most have given ears to hear. All right, we're coming into some dark times. And um, as Yahweh Shai told us, his disciples, which we hope to be, all right, which we are if we hold it down, all right, nevertheless, he told his disciples to watch and pray that they enter not into temptation. And um, what we see on the news, um, for example, which you had the elder apostle Ramla, he did a lesson, this is done on purpose, going into a, a, a really good, actually, a really good revealing interview that a um a, a intelligence a former intelligence agent turned whistleblower did on um the uh Mike Adams, which his site is uh Brition, or um he also uploads on Natural News, where it says um this is why I saw the video. It says um intelligence expert turned whistleblower Jeffrey. Prather share what he thinks is going to happen with the Health Ranger in a power episode of the Health Ranger report that you will not want to miss. And he speaks on um the situation with America and Ukraine and the fact that if if um things, you know what I'm saying, if if they start uh going blow for blow with Ukraine, all right, um if, I'm sorry, with Russia, they will lose a lot of casualties and they will have to implement the draft. Right? And um, the scriptures are unfolding. Now, I have another article. Just for the land back in on the Elder Apostles uh, lesson, this is done on purpose. All right? Now, on top of that war in Ukraine, which is going to exasperate the inflation. All right? Exasperate unemployment. All right? Exasperate the hell that's coming upon the American people, all right, is you have this devil Biden. It says Biden orders Border Patrol to cut barbed wire fences holding back masses of migrants. Now, it says only five days ago, the mayor of Eagle Pass, Texas, issued an emergency order due to a huge influx of illegal immigrants crossing into the U.S. from Mexico. And only a few days after that, the latest border numbers reveals record migrant crossings in 2023, over 2.2 million so far. Despite the multitude of warnings since Joe Biden entered the White House, there has been no discernible effort on the part of the federal government to stop the tide. In fact, more and more evidence suggests the Biden administration is deliberately thwarting all efforts to secure the southern border while consistently, consistently lying about their intentions. All right, because they have to appear to care for the American people, yet they don't. All right, they absolutely don't. They care more about the Ukraine crisis than their own crisis. Right, you have a massive amount of homelessness, and amongst those homeless is those that were once um, military personnel. So it just goes to prove that this devil don't give a fuck about his own. It says, case in point, Biden fought to end Title 42, which is the only legal recourse keeping abuse of the asylum option in check. Now, Title 42 implement, implemented by Trump, which we can grab it real quick. It says, Title 42 expulsion were removals by the U.S. government of people who had recently been in a country where a communicable disease was present. The extent of authority for contagion-related expulsions is set out by law in 42 U.S.C. S265. Now, um, it says the extent, okay, during the CV plan, the Trump administration used this provision to generally block land entry for many migrants. This practice was continued by the Biden administration. All right, now what you see 
is not no more. And, um, you know, I bring that out to prove that, you know, here it is. You got on one aspect, this devil was talking about a new, um, you know, variant coming out. But if you care so much about, you know, uh, a new scare or a new uh, plan, you know, a, a new plan D coming out. Why are you allowing um, people in? Why are you allowing all these people in here that you don't know what type of disease they hold? You know? And um, this proves, again, that this devil don't give a fuck about you people. All right? Case in point, Biden fought to end Title 42. So he knew, all right? That basically he knew what he was doing. All right. He knew that he was going to allow. Um, essentially allow disease. Newfound disease to come into this place because. You know. Um, they want to. Op they are orchestrating death. On all aspects. All right, as I just broke down on a financial aspect. All right, and then if a new uh, CV situation happens, you know how many more people that's gonna, you know, uh, how many more businesses are gonna shut down. You know how much more strenuous is gonna make this place, and it's gonna be like um, what is that in Argentina? Soon come, soon come. So where they said like you have 11 million people paying for 30 million. So here it is. It's less jobs. But more people you got it. The government decided to take care of. Who you think's paying for that? On top of this war that they constantly print money out for. You know. On top of the scarcity of food. We go over this over and over. Alright. So you can really get it through your. Really get it through your head. What time we're really living in. Which was the only legal recourse keeping abuse of the asylum option in check. Biden has filled a lawsuit asking courts to stop Texas efforts to fence off the Rio Grande with bright orange razor uh, wire buoys, which has proven very effective. Biden and Democrats have tried to stop Texas government Greg Abbott from relocating migrants to blue learning sanctuary cities. They've been given a taste of their own medicine and they don't like it. Biden has ordered, ordered Border Patrol agents to, pro, to process illegal immigrants for asylum status instead of using their energies to send them packing back across the border. So, what this should show you also, as the scriptures say, never trust your enemy. Whereas Iron Russ's source is wickedness. Because he's going to come with the same song, you know, uh, we care about you, you know what I'm saying, come get this new... Uh, um, you know, VAX we got for you. But if that was the case, why would he allow these immigrants with these unknown um, diseases come come into a, an economy that's already uh, or that's just now so called getting back on their feet? All right, from a, a disease ridden land before. And Biden has ordered those same agents to open border fences against the wishes of state governments so that migrants can easily pass through. And that's why these certain state governments like um, New York is actually cutting uh, funding to the police and to these uh, different government agencies just so they can house these migrants. Now it appears the White House is taking things a step further, ordering Border Patrol to cut barbed wire fences put in place by the Texas DPS as the only effective means for preventing mass migrations. They are actively welcoming in large groups of illegals and hope opening a path for them. There has been a clear der dereliction of duty when it comes to Biden and his actions on the border. It's also obvious that his relocation of more border agents and National Guard to the region is meant to keep migrants moving into the U.S., while preventing state governments from establishing any form of protection. What happens next is predictable. A massive surge in third world population, even beyond what the U.S. has witnessed so far, followed by rising crime, rising economic instability, 
rising poverty and a rising homeless population. Unless state governments and the public step in, the crisis will only expand. All right. So you could thank your um, you could thank your hero that you voted for, the so-called white man. Right. He's bringing pain. As promises, as as our Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai Yahweh, coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, all right. The gods of the Bible has said. As a matter of fact, the Lord promised that sword, famine, death, and destruction will come to this place, and essentially that's because of the pride of this place. All right. This place uh, just celebrated months and months of pride. You know what I'm saying? So um, they got to pay for that. Pain is coming to this place. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. We know it. All right. But um, the scriptures say to make it plain upon tables. All right. And the closer we get, the more plain it, it, it's showing itself to be. The scriptures, prophecy, who the Lord is dealing with. All right. The real motive of this devil, as it is written, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And it says the patient in spirit is better than the proud in, proud in spirit. Hey, 1144. Call Allah It says, Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are tr faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And that's the only thing left for this place is death and destruction. As you've been stout and proud against the Heavenly Father through his prophets, through his word. So death and destruction is waiting for you. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God, an evil and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. And let's say, for example, if this 2024 election did come to pass, it now should be very obvious that no matter who's in office, you are royally screwed. All right. As scriptures say, take bomb for her. If so be, she may be healed. But that's not the case for America. All right. As scriptures say, Babylon, that ought to be destroyed. This place is already slated. To, to be destroyed. All right. And this is only the beginning of sorrows, like it says in Matthew 24. All right. The end of is that nuclear missiles are going to parch the land. All right. That should leave neither root nor branch. All right. The fire will continue to rise. All right. Till missiles, or the scriptures call it arrows, be shot off. All right. The Lord hates this place, and you should too. So if that, shalom to the elect.